heavyweight fight is brought to you by Warner Brothers Pictures Sucker Punch from the director of Watchmen and 300 in theaters March 25th. 29-year-old Brazilian Luis Kane against 30-year-old American Elliot the Fire Marshal. A veteran of season 8 of The Ultimate Fighter who gets a second chance to make an impression inside the octagon tonight. He wants to make the most of it. Both men identical. 77 inch reach. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 11 wins, 3 losses. Standing 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boulder, Colorado, Elliot Fire Marshall. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 11 wins, 3 losses, 1 no contest, standing 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 205 and 1 half pounds, fighting in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Luis Bonha And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Louise Kane against Elliot Marshall. Let's go fight. Here we go. The Brazilian, the southpaw, and the white trunks. Blue trunks for Elliot Marshall. Elliot Marshall immediately looking to take this fight to the ground. Louise Kane is a very dangerous striker, Mike. Excellent straight left hand. Excellent right jab as well. And Elliot has improved his technique and his stand-up very much since his time in the Ultimate Fighter, but uh, clearly at a disadvantage on the feet against Kane. Marshall really said tonight he'll be looking to pull the trigger. That may play right into the hands of Kane, though. Good kick from Elliot Marshall. He's got heavy leg kicks. Kane responds with a nice inside leg kick. Kane was so impressive against Lambert and Sokaju. He's really reaching for that uh, takedown, Mike. Elliot, uh, you know, really reaches forward with his hands, and that, that could be dangerous. And maybe an indication that his game plan isn't to stand and trade with Luis King. Yeah, but he looks a bit tentative as he's going for the takedowns. He's not, like, fully committing and, and, and diving his body on him. He's, like, reaching forward with his arms. He got tagged there, Mike. King trying to tee off early. Luis Kane said, I will not stop searching for the knockout. And there's a big left hand. Elliot's in trouble. Kane looking to oh, finish his fight. He's in trouble. Wow. All over Elliot Marshall. Elliot's trying to get guard. He's trying to recover. He's covering up, though. He's getting tagged. He's hurt, Mike. Kane continuing. He's hurt. He's turtling up. To punish Marshall. Mergliata right on top of the action. Boy, he is taking some shots here. Louise Kane is just opening up. And Elliot rolling over here. Looks like he's going for a knee bar. They're going offense. They're going offense. Now the hammer fist. But he doesn't have the underhook, and he's just covering up here. Marshall just trying to survive the early onslaught. He's just hurt, Mike. You can't lay like that, Elliot. You gotta move. Trying to recover. I think it's over. It is all over! Man. Luis Kane has finished this fight! Elliot Marshall took some bombs, man. He's still down. And here Luis Kane comes with that straight left hand and a nice uppercut as well, and that's the one that hurt him. And it looks like Elliot's eye was closed. So he might have got poked in the eye there as well. And now he's just smashing him on the ground. And this is just a case of a superior striker. Luis Kane is, as we said, one of the most dangerous strikers at 205. And Elliot Marshall, really more of a jiu-jitsu guy. He's been successful with less talented strikers in moving and moving and trying to keep out of danger, but was unable to do that with Kane. 
Louise Kane with a much needed victory tonight. His fourth inside the octagon overwhelms Elliot Marshall. Louise Kane still a very dangerous member of the UFC's light heavyweight division. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Merglianta has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO.